Hi everyone, I'm Ernest Smythe, or Wizard Sleeve 74. And I'm Ewan Ram. So uh, today we're going to give you a brief demo of how you can get the Android operating system running on iOS devices. Yeah, I, I believe this has never been done before, um, so this is quite exciting. We're really excited about this. Yep. Um, and yeah, let, let's begin. Let's do it. So uh, a brief bit of information about uh, what you're going to need. So um, uh, I'll pop around, I'll, I'll tilt the camera if you want to talk through the, uh, okay. the iOS device. Certainly. Okay. Okay, so as you can see right here, we've got the latest iPad. This is the fourth generation, of course, with the lightning um, connection here, very important. And I'll just show it to you all working. We are running, obviously, version 6.0, which is the 10 to the 8 to the 407, which is one of my favorite versions, to be honest. Um, you know, some of them are a bit ropey, but I think this one really pulls the boat in. Um, so anyway, that, enough about the, the iPad, and yeah. Ernest. So, so uh, you're also going to need a, an Android device to actually do this. So um, here we've got the uh, S3 Mini, and the uh, version number on this is very important. So we've got Android version 4.1.1. Now, if you've got any later versions than that, you're probably going to have to roll back. Now, there are more details on how to do that, probably in the comments section. So, um, please have a look at that. Okay, so very importantly, um, first of all, we're going to plug the iPod in to the USB port on the computer. I iPad. iPad. Yep. Wrong one. So, uh, that's just gone in there. So, we're, we're up and running. We we're have, up and running in there. We have power. Okay. Um, now there's a bit of a, an odd connection on the on the Android device. So um, uh, you're going to want to get your uh, sorry, I've got this facing at, at the wrong angle. You're going to want to get your uh, your USB to 3.5 jack converter. So these are all over eBay, Amazon, everywhere. So what you're going to need to do. Just plug that into. Where's the headphones? This is. Oh, what? Well, here we are. So plug 3.5 into there, and your USB goes into the laptop as well. Awesome, done. So let's move on to uh, the most important. Okay, let's move on to the next stage. Um, what we're going to need to do is turn off the iPad. Is that button gone? There we go. Right. iPad is off. And uh, the next stage, now you're going to have to make sure that um, your power sources remain connected and that everything's got a full charge before you do this because you can actually corrupt the devices. But um, let's just introduce that there. And. Um, Let's give it a go. Fingers crossed. Awesome. Okay, here we go. We've got... Um, this is amazing. We've got Android. Yep. Up and running, fully working on, on an iOS. Yep. Now, there's a great technique with, uh, with this method is that actually we can dual boot. So if I uh, just... Okay. There we go. So we see we've actually got dual operating systems on here at the moment. In which the background we are running iOS, in the foreground we are running Android. Okay, brilliant. Um, I think that's just about it. So uh, if there's any questions then, you know, please uh, post in the comments feed. Thank you. Thanks for watching.